I'm sorry, I recently couldn't attend the entrance ceremony. He apologetically patted his daughter on the head and said as much. He lied and said he was on a business trip. I wanted to brush away my husband's dirty hands, who planned to go on a cheating trip from my daughter's head. After the entrance ceremony ended successfully, my daughter must have been tired because she fell asleep right after dinner. Just before the date changed, as I was about to go to sleep, I received a WhatsApp message from my husband. Send me a picture of Samantha in her school bag. Normally, you should have sent it before I asked. Angered by my husband's words, I sent him a picture of the evidence of his affair. W wait a minute, this is different. My husband panicked and started to explain himself in a pleading manner. My name is Alana, a 38-year-old office worker. The courage of my husband has been evident throughout our seven years of marriage. We got married after I became pregnant with our daughter, Samantha. Originally, we were acquainted as business partners. As we worked together, our bond grew closer. Eventually, he started inviting me out for meals, and we began dating. Our courtship lasted about a year and a half, but I was actually happy when I found out I was pregnant because I had been wanting to marry him. It seemed he shared the same sentiment and expressed his desire to build a happy family together. However, since getting married, I feel like I've been more disappointed by my husband than pleased overall. Firstly, regarding household chores, my husband doesn't do any of them at all. I had mistakenly believed that he was capable of basic housework since he had lived alone for a long time, but he has never even held a kitchen knife before. He has hardly ever done any cleaning or laundry. How have you been living like that until now? Well, I used to eat out, buy convenience store lunches, or have cup noodles, and my mother would come over every week to clean. I was dumbfounded when my husband told me about it after we got married. My husband rarely cooked for himself, and he would just put the garbage outside in a large bin, expecting his mother to come out and dispose of it. My mother-in-law used to come over and take care of the garbage disposal at our house, it seems. Moreover, she would do the cleaning once a week, coinciding with my husband's cleaning routine. As for laundry, my husband believed that as long as he put it in the washing machine with a dryer, it would be done, so he hardly did any actual household chores. That's why, even when we started living together, he didn't do any housework at all. At the beginning of our marriage, I took a third-level maternity leave and stayed at home so I could still manage the housework to some extent. But it became really difficult after my maternity leave ended and I returned to work. After work, I would pick up our daughter from daycare, stop by the supermarket on the way home to buy groceries, and then hurriedly prepare dinner. During that time, I also had to pay close attention to our daughter, and it was mentally exhausting. My husband would come home when he felt like it, complaining about being tired without even thanking me, and would eat dinner as if it were obvious. Moreover, if I happened to come home a bit late due to overtime or something and dinner wasn't ready yet, he would complain, saying it still wasn't done. Since such things happened regularly, there was a time when I got angry. I'm tired too from working. I actually want to share the household chores, but since you don't do them, I end up doing everything. Instead of just complaining, I want you to either help or show gratitude. When I yelled at him like that, my husband finally seemed to realize how selfish he had been and apologized, saying, I'm sorry. From then on, while he didn't do any housework, he stopped complaining about household matters to me. Afterwards, we generally lived peacefully. Our daughter grew up healthy and I became close with my husband. While listening to stories from her kindergarten days, we would go to the supermarket together, and we enjoyed family time during dinner. Time flew by in the blink of an eye. However, recently there's something that's been bothering me. It's my husband's strange behavior. He has stopped having conversations with me and our daughter at home, and is constantly engrossed in his smartphone. Sometimes he would smirk while looking at the screen, and it made me feel uneasy. When I asked him what he was looking at, he briefly panicked and said, I, uh, I'm just checking Twitter or Instagram. It felt suspicious, but I tried not to pry too much. Furthermore, a few months ago, my husband started going to work early in the morning and staying late for overtime. It seems he has also been working on weekends and his workload has become quite heavy. 
However, instead of being exhausted, he seems to be in a good mood and full of energy lately. Feeling even more suspicious, I decided to consult with a friend about it. Eh? Does that mean he's having an affair? Y yeah, it seems so. Yeah, a woman at my workplace had the same problem. And as expected, it seems her husband was having an affair. She decided to investigate properly and hired a private detective. She managed to obtain evidence of the affair through photos and was able to divorce him with solid proof. Maybe you should consider investigating too just to reveal the truth, even if you still have doubts. Yeah, I agree. Let's look into it. I had considered hiring a private detective myself, but I couldn't gather the courage. If my husband was truly having an affair, I didn't know if I could bear the truth when confronted with it. However, after discussing it with my friend, I felt more at ease and decided to give it a try. My friend recommended a detective agency that her colleague had used before, so I requested an investigation. Luckily, they had a special promotion so I could use their services at a discounted price. From then on, I also started keeping an eye on my husband's suspicious behavior. And so, days passed by, and a month went by in the blink of an eye. Finally, I received the results of the detective agency's investigation. As expected, my husband was indeed having an affair. The photos provided by the detective agency showed my husband and his mistress being affectionate and entering a hotel together. The mistress turned out to be a junior colleague at his workplace. It seemed that his late returns, early departures, and weekend work were all excuses to meet with his affair partner. A surge of anger welled up inside me. My husband had betrayed me, disregarding our family and indulging in his own desires. I would never forgive him. I vowed to take revenge on my husband. While conducting my own research, I obtained new information about my husband and his mistress, it happened while he was deeply asleep. I used his finger to unlock his smartphone with a fingerprint scanner, and I checked the WhatsApp conversation with his mistress. There, I stumbled upon shocking information. The two of them were planning to go on an affair trip next month. I was speechless. The date they had planned coincided with our daughter's elementary school entrance ceremony. My husband had sent messages to his mistress saying he couldn't wait for the trip, and that he was more excited about it than our daughter's entrance ceremony. I captured those messages as photos on my own phone. Oblivious to everything, my husband continued to make excuses about overtime and weekend work to make time for his affair partner. Meanwhile, I proceeded with preparations for divorce. I consulted a lawyer, went to a real estate agent to search for a new place and made sure I could separate from my husband as soon as possible. My husband, who was absorbed in his affair partner, seemed completely oblivious to the fact that I was gradually packing my belongings. But it was convenient for me. I had made up my mind to leave as soon as the entrance ceremony was over. And on the day of our daughter's entrance ceremony, she was wearing a new outfit and looked extremely happy. Meanwhile, my husband was regretting his inability to attend the ceremony while putting on a fake act. Why does a business trip have to come up at a time like this? Well, it's work, so I can't help it. It's our important daughter's entrance ceremony, so I wish they would let me take the day off. Seriously, our company has been like a shady company lately. <laughs> As he said that while sipping his coffee, it's evident that he's in a cheerful mood. He can't hide his excitement about the upcoming trip with his affair partner. It's truly disgusting. With utmost contempt for my husband, I prepared for the entrance ceremony. Afterward, my husband picked up his suitcase and put on his shoes at the entrance, pretending once again. I'm sorry, I can't attend the entrance ceremony. He tried to say it with a fake act, apologizing for not being able to attend the entrance ceremony, and lightly patting our daughter's head. I wanted to get that dirty hand of my husband, who lied that he was on a business trip and was going to go on a cheating trip, off my daughter's head. No, daddy always works hard, so it's okay. That's why I'm willing to endure it. Don't worry and do your best at work. When our daughter said that, my husband's face twitched for a moment. 
He then smiled wryly and replied, Yeah, I'll do my best. Thank you. The guilt must be creeping in when our daughter said that, knowing it's not really work. I suppose he feels guilty when our daughter says things like that because, deep down, he knows it's not really work. However, even so, I have no intention of forgiving him under any circumstances. And then my husband left the house with a suitcase in hand. I temporarily switched my feelings and went to the elementary school entrance ceremony with my daughter. She walked confidently. I felt proud as well. I became happy thinking that my daughter's joyful school life was about to begin. I hope she makes lots of friends and creates wonderful memories. Of course, I also want her to study hard. While watching my daughter, I had these thoughts. The entrance ceremony ended smoothly and my daughter must have been tired because she fell asleep soon after having dinner. Since we will be moving from this house tomorrow, I want my daughter to rest and recover her energy. Just before the date changed, as I was about to go to sleep, I received a WhatsApp message from my husband. Send me a photo of Samantha in her school bag. Ugh, too much trouble. Probably felt guilty after our daughter's words this morning and wanted to at least know how the ceremony went. I changed into my pajamas and got into bed for the time being. I was planning to send the photo, but before I could do that, I received another message from my husband. Normally, you should have sent it without me asking. You never think ahead, do you? I reluctantly came on this business trip, you know. What is he talking about? His words angered me. In response, I sent him evidence of his affair, a photo of him entering a hotel with his mistress, their arms entwined. Immediately, I received a call, but I didn't answer. I turned off my phone. I don't want to waste my energy on a phone call at this hour, considering we have the move tomorrow. I had a peaceful sleep, and the next morning I packed my belongings with my daughter. When I turned on my phone in the morning, there were numerous messages from my husband, but I ignored them and focused on dealing with the moving company. Finally, my daughter and I completed the move. I'm sorry, Samantha. From today onward, it will be just you and me living here. We won't live together with your father anymore. When I said that, it seemed like my daughter, though still a child, understood something. If you become sad by living with dad, then it's better for me to live with you. So I want to live here with you, mom. Tears welled up in my eyes upon hearing my daughter's words. How did she become such a clever child? I felt truly sorry for inconveniencing her due to the circumstances of her parents. From now on, I have to live as a strong single mother and protect my daughter. With a strong determination, I made up my mind. A few hours later, my husband returned home. The phone rang again, and I knew it was time to face him. Oh, Alana, you finally showed up. What the hell is that photo? That's what I wanted to ask you. Well, let's meet and talk in person for now. Reluctantly, I agreed to meet my husband at a diner. As soon as he saw me, his face turned pale and he rushed over. Alana, thank you for making time. Don't misunderstand. I wanted you to sign the divorce papers, so I made time to meet you in person. Divorce? Why are you so surprised? It's only natural since you had an affair. I laid out the photographic evidence in front of my husband. And besides, the photos I sent you, I still have more. W wait listen, this is different. I was set up. I had something put in my drink at that time. My husband started desperately explaining to me, looking very flustered. Can't you come up with a better lie? I know very well that you willingly had an affair. I showed him the photos of the WhatsApp conversations between him and his mistress. You, you when did you- I opened WhatsApp while you were fast asleep, going on an affair trip on Samantha's entrance ceremony day. How despicable. What kind of business trip was that? Your lousy lies were unbearable. My husband blushed when he realized that I knew everything and had witnessed his poor acting. You, you knew? Of course. That's why I was able to send you these photos. Upon hearing that, my husband placed his hands on the table and bowed his head. I, I was wrong. I was just fooling around with her. You and Samantha are the only ones who matter to me. So please, don't divorce me. 
He begged like that, always so self-centered. If that's the case, then you shouldn't have gone on an affair trip on our daughter's entrance ceremony day. You're just all talk. Whether you sign the divorce papers or not doesn't matter to me. I will divorce you, even if it goes to court. Huh? My husband realized that I was determined, and his face turned pale. Besides, I've already moved to a new house with Samantha. Samantha has agreed to live with just me. Th that's... Well, let's handle the alimony and other matters through lawyers then. My husband looked utterly defeated and slumped in his seat. I stood up, ignoring him, and left the diner. Afterward, I claimed alimony from my husband and his mistress. Of course, I also demanded child support from my husband. He resisted the divorce until the very end, but when the lawyer said it would go to court, he finally came to his senses and signed the divorce papers. By the way, my ex-husband told me that he didn't want to divorce me, and that it was just a fling with his mistress. I made sure to inform his mistress, who was very shocked to hear that. After paying the alimony, it seems that the mistress decided to break up with my husband. Since I sent a certified letter to his workplace, he couldn't stay there and ended up quitting. My ex-husband lost his wife, daughter, mistress, and the trust at his job all at once. Currently, it seems he is enduring a cold and distant life, working hard to pay the substantial alimony and child support. On the other hand, I am living a comfortable life in a new home with my daughter. She seems to enjoy school and tells me about her day with a smile every day. I feel the happiest when I hear her stories while having dinner together. I will continue to work hard to protect my life with my daughter. Going on an affair trip on your daughter's entrance ceremony day? It's impossible to say what he values his daughter right? I wish men like this would disappear from the world. It's good that Alana was able to file for alimony and child support. Please continue to have a happy and harmonious life with your daughter. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked the content, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!